Welcome back to part three in the final episode of Defending the Motherland. For this game, NATO forces were attempting to destroy prime infrastructure for our home city, primarily a bridge that allowed us to get food and supplies in and out. Essentially, NATO wanted to starve us out like they did in the old days of castles and stuff. They had two bombs that they had to place, and they did succeed in placing one of them temporarily before one of our little warriors got out there and removed it for them. In the end, we were able to repel all three invaders, and we had a great time doing it. It was a great day for the red team, and a bad day for NATO. Oh, got him. How about that? One hit, one kill. I made him duck. Got him. He's trying. I'm not getting enough targets here. <clears throat> Got him. Oh, hit! Nicely done. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Daryl, your roadblock, buddy. I can't believe I did not hit him. There's another guy. Huh? Over here. Got him. That was a head hit. I got him, I watched him drop. I ain't claiming it. Got him that time, he claimed that one. That's a noisy little pistol. Got brown right behind the cone. I don't know if I got that one or not. Should have. Yep. No. That's brown going on that. Huh? Got somewhere else you need me to shoot at? Got this building right here, the building right there behind it. In between there's a building trees. right between the five and the little building. There's a guy right there behind somewhere. I don't know if I got the range to get there. Don't get I think he just left. He's not a debtor, he's walking. He decided he didn't want to play there. I wonder the HBA guy is pushing hard. Got him.
already hit. Push up some now. I think I got him. I found a unicorn. I found a unicorn. That pretty well does it for this little mini series on defending the motherland. I ended up with a 19 to 2 KD on this one, which is a ratio I can totally live with. The fact that we were defending instead of attacking, of course, helped that out because it's a whole lot easier to defend than it is to attack. The red line milsim that Leviathan Tackle put in gave me that extra little bit of reach that I needed to be able to reach across the pond and get folks while staying outside of their effective range. If you enjoyed this video, please throw down a like. Give me your thoughts on it in the comment section. I look forward to hearing from you. If you like what you're seeing here, also please consider subscribing to my series. There's always going to be something new coming out, something else to look forward to. We've got a big event coming up at the end of the month where we're going to Third Coast Airsoft's Operation Bone Strike 5. This is supposed to be the very last of the Operation Bone Strike, so we're really looking forward to it. As I said earlier, I also hope to have a video coming out soon on the Redline Milsim, and I'm also going to be working with my son on producing a video on how he designed and 3D printed this battery box to mount on my Pictini rail to support my scope cam. See you next time on the field. Damn.